I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Brahmins, it is Thursday. Exactly. A week until progress reports. Are you sick of hearing us talk about progress reports? It's because we care. We certainly care about all the missing assignments and we don't want you to get behind. So go ahead and start working on those. Surprise us. Get it done before the weekend. And then you won't have to spend that time on the weekend. Today is a tutoring day. We want to see record numbers at tutoring if you have your signed permission slips already turned in. All right, I have a couple of announcements of things happening. Um, First of all, in (laughs) February, on February 11th, your drama club is putting on a mystery dinner theater. They're going to be performing the Marquise Crossing Lady Society, first attempt at murder. Tickets are on sale now. It is dinner and a show. So tickets are $20. Um, Um, You'll purchase those tickets from Miss Rollerson. That event will be taking place February 11th at 7. So if you're interested in going, um, talk to your parents or get together with friends and get your tickets early because that show sells out every single year. I've been getting a lot of emails from seniors asking about specific information for their grad bash trip next Friday. Don't worry. I got you. It'll be in the parent newsletter this weekend. And I have a shout out. Aubrey First was the TC Palm Athlete of the Week. So congratulations, Aubrey. She is a goalie or a goalkeeper on our lady soccer team that had a huge win last night. 8-2-0, complete shutout. So they're going to play again. Is that tonight? Friday, I believe. Friday. Okay. All right. That's all I have for now. Miss Norman. I just wanted to congratulate the girls soccer team. Way to bring home that win last night. So. Yeah. All right. So Mr. Welch had sent an email, I believe to all of us that uh, he had a big shout out for uh, one of his students, Alberto Hernandez had found an item worth uh, quite a bit of money and had turned it in. So we appreciate that, Alberto. We appreciate it, Mr. Welch, for turning that in. And, and that's a great way to exhibit the Brahmin way. So we appreciate you, buddy. Also, don't forget next Monday, track tryouts. And then February 1st, we begin uh, conditioning for uh, flag football. So if you have any questions, email your coaches. Um, all of that is on Facebook. And I believe uh, Miss Goggins has also sent out an email to the freshmen. So all the information should be there for you. Yes, and freshmen who are competing, um, those forms, um, the final forms packet with the physical form and all that, they're available here in the office in 205. See Ms. Fonseca if you need one of those. Bring it back here, turn it in, and she'll get it over to the high school for you. If um, if that's the last leg you need before you try out for a sport, we can help you out with that. Um, So progress reports. Um, Just a little side note here. I had a conversation um, with a student on Wednesday about grades and and, um, that I challenged that student. I said, you know, you're very close to the next letter grade in science. I said, I want to see that letter grade there before the end of the week. I know you can do it. I checked back in this morning and it's already there. So all he had to do was just make sure he turned in what he needed to turn in. It's sometimes just this, that simple. So students, I want to challenge you to talk to your teachers, have a conversation and say, hey, what can I do to move this grade? That sense of commitment and showing that you want to improve your grade your teachers will work with you, but you need to advocate for yourself and have that conversation. And they, they want you to do well. They want you to succeed, but you have got to reach out and let them know that you're wanting to move in that direction. So you've got a week to go. So look at whatever grade you have that's below a C and talk to that teacher and say, what can I do to get this grade up for progress reports? Little steps. That's great advice, Ms. Goggins. All right, students, so the big day is tomorrow, PBIS. Um, We will have our Sweet Tea and Lemonade out there for you for five ramen bucks, but let's do a very quick, very important reminder. 
on your Brahmin books, you need to have both your teacher's signature or stamp and your name. We will not accept them like that without that. So you'll get sent to the end of the line uh, and we're not giving you any pins. So be responsible, get them filled out. That's been addressed to you in town hall and multiple times. And you are a big freshman. We know you can do it. That's it for me. All right. You know, my favorite way to end the announcements, senior shout out. Um, this one goes out to Jayona Katia. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Forgive me. Um, so this senior was accepted to somewhere. If you think it's been cold this week here, Oh my, this acceptance letter is for North Dakota State University. Wow, that is a long way away. We're super proud of you for getting accepted. Um, and seniors, keep them coming. You know that I love to end the week, especially on a Thursday or Friday um, with those senior shout outs. Keep working on those scholarship packet seniors. That deadline is quickly approaching. We are working on class rank as we speak. I hope to have that announcement by tomorrow. If not, definitely we're going to round out the month of January with your top seniors um, for class rank by Monday. All right, here we go. Make it a good one as together we move forward. It'd be great. And be comments all day, all day.